Alright everyone, how you guys doing? In this video I'm going to talk about the new MacBooks. I've done kind of a few videos on the Retina MacBook Pros since I've picked one up. And I've done speed tests, I've done Photoshop tests, and I'll be doing gaming tests next. Um, let me know what you want to see. And if you haven't seen those videos, they're on the screen. Um, but in this video particularly, I've had a number of people ask me uh, which machine should they go for. They're confused between the non-Retina, the MacBook Airs, and now the new Retina MacBook Pros, which have been refreshed. Um, and here's pretty much my take on it. So if you're the sort of person that does a lot of upgrades, you tend to keep the machine for a long time, but yet you do incremental updates, you know, change the RAM, uh, upgrade the storage yourself, and you want that, well, there's only one option, which is the non-Retina MacBook Pro, which is at £999. You can tinker about it with it, you can open it up and so on, and that is the only choice you've got. In my opinion, um, you shouldn't get that because the Retina displays, once you go Retina, you can't go back. And I learned that myself because I went from a 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro earlier this year to a 13-inch MacBook Air, which doesn't have a Retina screen, and the difference is quite significant. In terms of the MacBook Air, the price point is kind of too close with the Retina MacBook Pros and you're just getting a better deal. Coming back onto the the power um, of the Retina MacBook Pros, it's slightly faster and of course if you get this the middle configuration of the MacBook Pro Retina one, uh, you're getting double the RAM, double the storage, not to mention you're getting a better screen and you're also getting a built-in HDMI. So. My prediction is come next year the MacBook Airs are going to be phased out because the next step up from a MacBook Air in terms of a revision is the actual screen. Um, over the past couple of years Apple have slowly rolled out Retina screens uh, and this year the 15 inch non-Retinas were kind of demolished. And I guess come next year there's going to be a shift uh, and as I said once you go Retina you can't really go back. So now looking at the Retina MacBook Pros themselves here are the three configurations and if you are going to be getting a MacBook Air and you're spending this much money, the middle configuration is the best priced and here's why. So the first configuration is priced at 1100 and the middle configuration is priced at 1250 That's a £150 difference and if you split that up £75 each, you're basically getting double the RAM and double the storage. 128 gigs in this day of age is probably or, or isn't uh, a good option for a machine that's worth £1,100. You might as well spend that bit more and you know you get double the storage, double the RAM, especially if you intend on keeping the machine for a long time. And just generally covering all the MacBooks, if you're spending a grand in any case for a MacBook, you might as well go for the, the middle configuration. I think that's the best value for um, your, your money. And the third configuration is priced a bit too high uh, for a slightly faster clock speed on the CPU and uh, 512 gigs of SSD. If you do want to get a higher SSD but don't mind the clock speeds, you can ob obviously still configure uh, the first and the middle um, configuration MacBooks. But that is it for this video. I thought I would kind of throw this out there since a lot of people on Twitter are asking me which one should I get, which one you know should I put money towards. My opinion, summary, 13-inch MacBook Airs are not worth it. Uh, neither is the non-retina version. Um, the retina version is the way to go. You know, the screen's is absolutely gorgeous, and the middle configuration is my preference, and that's the one I has here, which is probably fan it's fantastic. It's probably the best Mac I've owned today. It is like your ideal machine. I know it's hard to always get an ideal machine from Apple because they always tend to leave that one thing out, um, but. There's really, it's really hard for me to say something negative about these machines. Um, coupled with the student discount, you're in for a win. See you in the next video. Cheers.